welcome back to Mega Factory One, everybody. So, in today's episode, we're going to be rebuilding our basic manufacturing. We're going to be doing our exit and intro into our bulk storage systems. And um, let's get cracking. So, I've already started, you see here, with the exit design. So, this is the design I ended up going with. I toyed using the these ones. Um, the conveyor lifts, sorry, drew a blank there. But the conveyor lifts only go in one direction, they do not go down. So I could possibly use them on that side, I can't use them on that side. So you can see the size I had to build this to get it um, the way I wanted. So we've got this, so we're going to finish this off very quickly. Um, it's and But we're out of power currently because I think um, I accidentally disconnected my coal mine earlier. So I think we should have enough coal back now. Yeah, so we definitely run out of juice. So we're just going to very quickly go here. Yeah. All right, so that should now fix our problem again. Um, so that's, I uh, did quite a bit of work between episodes. I rebuilt uh, or not really I improved I hope that's gonna be enough coal I improved the manufacturing up there you can see this is now for the tier 2 stuff so the advanced iron plates the rotors things like that these containers are just temporary um, you can see there's just iron plates that was an overflow from that side that's been since disconnected you can see there it's producing a rotor so we've got over a hundred of those um, and you can see these little bits and pieces of where I was uh, dismantling all of this as well. So this used to be where all the the the, uh, the smelters and the constructors used to be. So let's uh, get cracking and uh, enjoy the time lapse. Right, so much faffing about later and several iterations. We have something that looks sort of okay. I'm not a hundred percent happy with it, but it comes a point where you've got to just say, okay, that's, that's good enough. Uh, that's good enough for government work. So it's a little convoluted, it's a little complicated, but it working it is working for me currently. So you'll see I'm really nearly at max capacity with the system. I can only put four more different items in, which will probably be the rotors, the reinforced plates, the modular cubes, and then one other object. So we'll see what we end up with, but um, this was only ever meant to hold the tier one stuff. I'm gonna build a second one for tier two and so on and so forth. But this is um, looking pretty satisfactory for now. So next up is uh, rebuilding our basic refinery system over on that side. Okay, so I'm much uh, just working with layouts like you can see that's how ugly that is. I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do with that. I might actually just run it off the floor, put up some stilts and just run it straight across and then turn right and figure a way out through that. Uh, that over there so that's that's something i'm still working on so here we've got our um, so this one's busy making copper wire and this one's uh making the white oh sorry other way 
Don't know how to swap these. Oh, this one I haven't specified. This one is supposed to be making the spools of cable, but it can't because we can make another constructor in line with this one. And in this one, we'll make the cable. All right, so, but we do need a bit more power. So we're just gonna extend the power again to there. Take our power line, connect it up there. And is that now too much? Oh, right. See, there, I have found something. You can only put so many machines on a single power line like this um, before it starts freaking out. And I'm pretty sure I'm near the limit. That's why you see I've I've tandemed my power that's coming in off of my three coal generators. I don't know if it's just a bug or something, but these lines definitely have a, cap a capacity limit. But there's no way for that I know of to check it. So it is what it is. So this then will make the cables. Then the next one we need to do, we need another uh, smelter. And this pole's in the way, so we'll just delete the pole, connect you back up to there, and then we'll connect you to there. And now we can bolt our smelter again. And we're gonna actually need two of you, so I'll just pull two straight off the bat. Okay, great stuff. See, now I'm gonna have to tandem this again because I'm gonna have to do a tandem. All right, so what we'll do is we'll just place two of you together, feed you to you, because there's more machines that are gonna have to come off this. And then we'll tandem on the other side. You in, yeah, that will work, okay. I don't want to run the cables. It yes, it's I can clip through the machines. I just don't like the way it looks, so that's why I generally avoid uh, clipping things. All right, so then this one will be also copper ingots. You also be copper ingots. Whoops. See, I look at how busy that looks already. Okay, but anyway, so we'll take your conveyor belt, feed it a little bit forward, turn. To new 90 degrees. Bada bing, bada boom. Same thing here. But there should be good. You know what? That's going to be good enough. That actually doesn't look too bad. And with the yeah, with it all flowing over it, it's fine. All right, so that's our copper uh, feed back in. All right, so now we need to make the copper. And this one we're going to have to leave a bit of a gap because of the poles. Okay, so I need some iron reinforced iron plates, which should be in here. Plenty of those. So that's coming off that advanced one over there. Right, so constructor. Okay, fine, let's be a little difficult. I know you shouldn't really build these things this close, but I, I really do like a compact factory. Right, so then we're just gonna take the feed out of you. Like that. Put you there, turn you there. Feed you a bit forward. Right. Then, what do we want from you? We've copper sheets. Okay. So that's going to make the copper sheeting. Then what are we going to run out of you? Oh, not steel. Maybe we should do some more cut wire.
Let's just do more cable. I'm always using cable, so. But first, we need to double step this, so we'll do wire first. Let's let's actually swap that around. So we'll make you do wire, and then you will do the copper sheeting. Click once, feed out, turn 90 degrees, run your cross to about yay, and bada bing. Right, so we do need to throw some juice into these two, which will run off those two poles there. And then we need another one. Yeah. Let's just skew. Right, so that's now online. Okay, and then we want cable. Right, and then we all run the. We're gonna have to. I'm going to have to be a bit creative about how I'm going to run all these resources through that. I didn't think this through all the way, obviously. All right, let me sort out the conveyor belt system here quickly. And um, I've got an idea. Maybe I just go horizontally on the floor. And I'm going to be making a vehicle pass anyway through here. I just do a bridge of conveyor belt, so I drive underneath it. I think that may be the way to go. Because there's a nice gap there that I can fit quite a bit through. So there's only four combat Okay, wait, there's a bit more than just four here. There's these four plus one, two is three that side. So seven. Yeah, I should be able to get seven through there. It's going to look very complicated, but hey, that's what the point of this game is. All right, so let me get started with that and we'll be back shortly. Welcome back, everybody. We have made some progress. The storage system is complete. After much futzing with it, we have got it done. So let me give you a quick rundown. So we've got our new copper refinement area down there. You can see it's making all the different variations of copper we've got that we produce, but I can see I've got a bit of a backlog there. I think I need two of those smelters and then I can split the rest off of that. Then coming over here, we've got, um, that's actually quite cool. We have got our intake on that side. So you can see it's got uh, nine of the conveyor elevators. And only one of them is not in use, but that's soon to change as soon as we start on the steel production. So we need 200 steel pipes. So that's going to be our next thing that we're going to be busy with. You can see it's all coming from down this side down here, which is my uh, iron production. See the screws down there in the iron bars. Um, yes, there are better ways of doing this. I'm sure there are. This is the way I'm doing it in this playthrough. I'm still very much a noob at this. You can see the advanced iron plates and the rotors and all of that. So once it filters all the way through the system, it then comes out on the conveyor belt I'm standing on. And there is, again, probably better ways of doing this, but this is the way I'm doing it. So that's the exits, and you can see there, there's, I've got 10 exits, and I'll go show you that little corner down there. That little corner down there was a bit of a nightmare to do, but it's done. Then it comes down on these conveyor belts, and then it comes to these 10 buffer storage containers here. So you see I've got steel plate, or iron plates there, concrete, cables, wires, copper sheeting, iron bars, and these ones haven't stocked up yet because they're still very much... Um, Stocking the buffers as well. It's supposed to be stocking the buffers. Okay, something's broken. Something's not right. Okay, so this should be coming through. So you're probably what I've what's happened. Come on. Is that I haven't connected something somewhere because um, this should all be feeding out. There should be enough materials in this to do this so i don't know why it's not coming through uh oh that was the other thing i had to do i had to um expand the power plant again because i'm now consuming i think it's 225 megawatts of power so i had to add in that power uh, coal power plant down there and you can see my coal power line uh, coal supply line is now 
pretty much at full speed. All right, so where are we getting stuck? All right, so there's rotors there. So let me have a quick investigation here, guys, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I think I fixed the problem. There was three pieces of conveyor belt that, okay, two were broken, or not there. One had this weird U-loop on itself. I've seen it do it before. It's a, That's one of the biggest drawbacks of doing this, because it is very difficult to see, like, something that's in the fifth layer in the middle there. It's really hard. It's... And um, the time I'm going to have to sort out because I swapped around when I was building at these conveyor belts so that I didn't have conveyor belts doing the loop loop over each other. So they're nice and flat and it's just the way I like it. Um, so, yeah, so we have, now have, there's the iron plates. There's the rotors. Okay, that's odd. Why am I not getting... Rotors. Uh, and I did, okay. So hopefully now this should sort itself out. I did do a bit of a general cleanup of conveyor belts and um, you see my cement is uh, also optimized now as well. So I got rid of all those containers there. Those containers there are my in-use containers. So when I need stuff or my inventory gets full from cleaning up, I dump them there. I still need to sort them out and put them where they, where they actually belong. Um, so yeah, so that's currently where we're doing. So I've got, uh, the, you can see advanced steel on my top right. I've really got steel. I haven't built any of the machines yet. So that's what I'm hoping to do still. Um, so yeah, cement's going along quite nicely. I'm just waiting to see um, if this thing's now going to sort itself out, because now I'm going to screws there. Oh no, that out. So I have a sneaky suspicion these screws are what was in storage already inside the storage system. So we're going to have to wait for all of those to filter out. You can see there's a, a rotor coming out there. If I can stop this freaking falling, it would be useful. And there's the advanced modular frames. Okay, so it is working. It's just we have to clear the stock and then I'll sort it out at a later point off the line. Um, I have done some research, but I need to do more research because I actually need to get... I'm tired of running around three blocks of health. So I want to fix that as well. So let's let's have a do a, a, a quick summary. So what we need to do is I need to actually make screws um how efficient are you so this one is exactly right he's getting exactly what he wants uh but you see this one i'm i'm getting a bit of um a, a bit of inefficiency out of these two here so what i think i might actually do is i might split this off here i'll put a splitter in here um i'll see if i can get that right and then, because um, I'm, I'm getting more screws, but I'm worried about the production of screws. Or, no, no. What I'll do, there's another two iron veins down there. So I'll put up a new iron farm uh, because I need to get it to steel as well. Um, okay, decisions, decisions, decisions. Because if I look at this, a lot of this is just standing still. Like this one here is really inefficient. So a whole, the whole thing of being, playing satisfactory is be, getting your your factory... And sorry, guys, a bit of uh, The whole thing of playing satisfactory is getting your factory as efficient as possible, one of the aspects it is for me. So like this one is not very efficient. Um, see, it's only 35% efficient because I'm getting a bottleneck here so I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm pretty sure if I had to convert this off of screws into something is, because this one's going full bore. Okay, so if I supply, split this, this one off. Okay, let me actually just do it to test. So, oops, that one. 
All right, so if I split that up here, put that in there, this should be able to pump him up to, yes, there we go. All right, so this should push him up to 100% utilization um, because he's now feeding two from one because the bars, the iron bars are being made as quick as they can. And it's actually, this is the actual bottleneck here. It's not the actual screws. Then what I can do with this machine, if I can get, I'm stuck. This one here, I can probably, I don't want to move him, but I might have to, is I turn this smelter, maybe I can stack it. Oh, so it's actually not a bad idea. I need screws, so I might have to just sh shift this over, put up the, extend this height here. Okay, clear new, click, thank you. And I'm out of concrete. So maybe that's what I do. Move along everything over one and build another, another constructor to make screws and feed screws in straight down here into the 10th conveyor belt and that will solve the problem. I think that's what we're going to do. So don't worry about that because there's a lot of shifting I'm going to have to do here in the, this here because I'm not happy with the way it's working. Um, so I've got the four iron mines down here. You can see the other one's just around the corner there. Oh, nuts. Uh, hmm. And there's another two down there that I'll get into. Those two, what I'm probably going to do with them. Come on, let me up. No, it's not going to let me up that way. Okay, fine. Um, is I'm going to build this out more that side until probably I get to the actual iron mine. And then I'm going to clear these two up. And this pad here will become my steel production facility because I need to build a foundry for that and then I'm going to be running a third power line on that right hand side that feeds off uh, one of the generators I'm actually going to divide my area into districts because that's why I've researched paint but I don't know what I can paint yet I've never used it so if I can paint my area into districts that's what I'm going to do so I'll have like a red district a blue district um, to make my life a bit easier, but we shall see. Um, that's going to be also in the next episode. So that's just very quickly what we've done in this episode. So we have completed our tier one storage system. It's fully functional. It's a bit clogged up and it's things are in the wrong places currently, but maybe we'll sort that out just now. Um, our copper production is up and away and it's going full bore. Iron production. 95% complete one minor change to do make some screws it's not like um, I'm gonna be short any screws anytime soon and you can still see it's coming out of there um, so we need to sort that out and then I need to get started on the steel production as well because that's the next uh, advanced steel milestone you can see it's up there so tell me what you want me to do with it uh, next do you want me to build a steel foundry or something else let me know in the comments down below and as always, keep well. See you next time. Cheers.